Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and I'm jo joined today with George Borden, who uh, is a solution architect, a solution sales architect at Sharp NEC Displays. George, how are you doing? Gary, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me here. Nice to see you again. Well, you've focused primarily your world in the last dozen years has been all in and all around collaboration. And of course, when NEC was a separate organization, you had the CB series, but now with uh, Sharp NEC together, you now have access and really kind of focused heavily on the aqueous uh board series product which they you know sharp you could argue invented the the interactive board they were the first ones with an interactive board and and the aqueous comes in all different shapes and sizes and talk about that for just a second and what target markets you are uh you know best for definitely thank you gary yeah the the uh the merger with sharp has been a, a an excellent thing regarding the ability to have different models with different sizes and some different uh, specs that I would say more in my words that have been particularly aligned to go to certain particular verticals. So we have budget-minded models that are very good for education, but that have some extra hardware input sources so that the user can bring their own device. Um, other models that have um, a sharing app that allows any uh, bring your own device with any operating system to uh, easily share content from a mobile device, uh, whether it be remotely or locally. Uh, on one of the Aquos boards. Um, other features include, of course, the hardware peripheral inputs that you would expect from devices such as this, such as multiple HDMI inputs, uh, getting into the future with single uh, cable connectivity with USB-C. Uh, some of the uh, devices do have uh, modular uh, computer inputs. Uh, in, the, in the industry, we call that OPS, open pluggable slot, or now the new Intel standard, uh, you know, standard display, uh, smart display module standard from Intel. Um, they have the capability to do that for a seamless PC install if you don't want to have uh, computers hanging on the back. Um, you know, the other thing, too, is the, the importance uh, for a company like ours to not only come at the industry with different hardware options, but those hardware options allow you to be flexible with whatever software option that we've uh, forced ourselves into. You know, during the pandemic, we were all forced into the role of uh, using these collaboration tools. Some only had one at their disposal. Others had to load balance with one in tow. So the universal, uh, being universal and more accepting to open uh, open source softwares, different softwares, different hardwares that go into these devices, you know, allow for these organizations and businesses to have that flexibility they deserve. And also to be prepared for any unknown moving into the future. Um, that concerns me uh, and concerns a lot of us. Uh, that we don't know what's going to happen. So it's good to just be prepared from that standpoint. But from a product standpoint with different feature sets, we're definitely um, able to come at the market with, a diff with different options to consider for those different verticals. Yeah, and uh, it, um, you know, all of them are now 4K resolution, I assume, 38, 40, and 60. Uh, you know, everything is is touch enabled by by now, obviously. But you have all in one, in that you have uh, you know you have products that have everything together as a full collaboration system, and then also you have third party compatibility with all the major USB uh, brands with regard to cameras and and external mics and speakers and stuff that might be either Teams or Zoom uh, certified. All that uh, is connectable because of the the universal open slot kind of concept that you have. Uh, you can either have, if you want to make it a Zoom room or a Teams room, you can have a dedicated PC. Or if you just want to use it as a collaboration device, as a standalone collaboration device, load the software on the device. In some cases, then you can just connect all your peripherals directly to the collaboration board. That's exactly right. Uh, the, the, you know, the options are limitless depending upon your use case. And mm -hmm. from the most basic aspect, we have uh, a simple display with a touch um, over frame on it that can be used effectively. We also have a high-end uh, Windows collaboration display. We call it the PNCD701 that uh, has motion detection, has Internet of Things sensors. It can be tied into Microsoft Azure backend. So there's just so many different things that businesses businesses can avail themselves of from the very basic application to high-end integrated applications like what I just mentioned. Yeah, so one one key element here is that uh, Exertus Almo is a distributor of all of these products and you can uh, talk to your local Exertus Almo rep and they'll t help coach you through picking the right one because you do have a lot of different uh, models. And I'll actually put the, I'll actually put a link into um, the collaboration website for Sharp NEC, which includes all the different models and sizes and, and options. So you can check that out all, all, uh, all online. Uh, George, I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you very much.
Gary, thank you so much. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the road again. Yeah. And I'll see you at the E4 in Boston. Uh, many of you, hopefully, uh, right. uh, let's see in about, yeah, just a little under a week now or right around a week now, um, the 20th of October. So check it out at e4experience.com. And thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a great day.